Welcome back. Another week. Another case. I always seem to show things that don't go perfect. Maybe it's because nothing ever does, or maybe because that's really what I want to show everybody. So this case, uh, we've got a patient that's fractured off a tooth. He's been a long time patient, extreme heavy grinder. I know why he broke his tooth. He doesn't seem to think so, but nonetheless, he fractured off the lingual cusp, non-restorable tooth, it's infected. Uh, so we're gonna take the tooth out. We're gonna do an immediate placement in this particular case. We didn't intend to lay a flap, but we noticed a dehiscence during cleaning out the granulation tissue, and we've got to address it. We simply cannot leave that dehiscence there. Too much chance that tissue is going to get into our implant site and cause our implant not to integrate. So let's take a peek at the case. And of course, I got my pitch. You want questions, you want something specific, let us know, just direct message us, just comment below, share our stuff, just do it so that I leave you alone. Enjoy the case. All right, we've got a patient numb. Let's go ahead and break off the lingual fractured part and we're gonna start using our elevators uh, and we were able to get the tooth out pretty easily there, essentially just using elevators. Now we're going to spend quite a bit of time here cleaning out uh, the extraction site to make sure we have all the granulation tissue, cystic tissue, everything out of there. Uh, in this particular case, as we talked about, we're going to be doing an immediate placement. So we, even if we're not doing immediate placement, we've got to have the site clean. Digital impressions taken uh, so that we can take our final impression today with our contacts. Here is our uh, in-office milled guide uh, using our keyless system. Uh, use an extender because the hole uh, was the guide the drill was hitting the guide. Um, now we're going to lay a flap in this particular case. During curetting, I noticed that there was a dehiscence in the bone that you can see right there. So we're going ahead and clean out the dehiscence. We wanted to get access to it. When you have a dehiscence, whether you are placing the implant or just doing a graft, you need to expose it, clean it, and go ahead and get a membrane into that spot. So now we're placing our implant uh, through our guide. And now we're going to um, go ahead and take our digital impression. Um, and then once we have our digital impression taken, now we're going to be ready to go ahead and either put a cover screw or healing abutment. Hopefully we put a cover screw. Looks like that's what we did here. And now we're going to go ahead and clean out that area. We're going to add our sticky bone in. Uh, everything looks good. We're going to have thickness there. Add it to the gap as well. And now we're going to place our resorbable membrane. Tuck it up underneath there. And our PRF uh, plug as well. And then we're going to go ahead and try to achieve primary closure closure using chromic gut. Uh, today I would actually be using PTFE suture material as well. I find that those uh, hold up quite nicely and help keep the site closed. And uh, we're pretty much getting close to the end, cleaning up the uh, releasing incision area. And we're going to kind of tuck everything back in. That's the PRF that you see sticking out that the membrane is uh, completely enclosed within uh, the flap. So cut everything off and there we go. So now our site is clean, stitched up, uh, implant is in, and we have a membrane with graft over that area. Uh, looks like I wanted to get some practice on stitching, so I did more and more stitching here just to prove to you guys that I kind of know what the world I'm doing or to show you that I don't. All right, you know, one of the things that's important to me is not everything has to be textbook picture perfect. I felt this way so early on in my career that I used to beat myself up. The truth is, is do good work, have good, good biology behind you, good sound principle, and give it your best. Try. And the body is amazing at how it heals. And this is a great case of that. You're able to extract the tooth, place the implant, do a graft, place a membrane, make a flap, put it all back together. It didn't look perfect, but we're going to end up with a great result. And in this particular case, we ended up with a fantastic result. So try, push yourself, make sure you inform your patients and make sure you know your boundaries. If we can help, you want to learn more about this type of dentistry, sign up for our digital implant continuum, 3d-dentist.com. We look forward to helping you grow your practice. Take care.